morning. This is the Eager Beaver Show. You are listening to a True North Eager Beaver Media Incorporated podcast. The True North Eager Beaver podcasts are proudly brought to you by our founding sponsors. The Misfee Mysteries from Corvid Moon Publishing, your source for science fiction, fantasy, and cozy mysteries featuring a broad diversity of characters. CanadianTarot.com, your uniquely Canadian online eclectic tarot community. And The Peppermaster, hot pepper sauces made from farm fresh ingredients to thrill your taste buds and expand your mind. Well, good morning and hello, kids, and welcome to season four and episode number 401 of the Daily Beaver Morning Show here on the Cryer Media Network. Yay! Today, recording day is Tuesday, June 11th, 2024, and um, it's a little nippy here at the Beaver Lodge. It's a little nippy. Considering it's, yeah, it's June. It's 11 on 11. Um, I was uh, just outside a little bit to have my morning tea in the backyard, and uh, I needed a little jacket because, uh, uh, well, actually, more than, I guess it was a little, not so much nippy, but nipply. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. pretty much so. Yes, nipply weather. Uh, <laughs> I'm your host, the Eager Beaver, pronouns he, him, hey, Mr. Beaver, hey, and as you can hear it with me is my good friend, Mr. Grizzly. A big thank you goes to our podcast founding sponsors, The Pepper Master, The Miss Fee Mysteries from Corver Moon Publishing, and CanadianTarot.com. And yes, kids, it's one of those, uh, the higher the hair, the closer to God days. Is that what it means? Yes. <laughs> the higher the hair, the closer to God. <laughs> That's why drag queens reign supreme. <laughs> oh, because if you're six feet as a bird drag queen, you're seven feet with heels and hair. <laughs> you just go to Buffon Circle, and <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Buffon Circle, as opposed to Dupont, Dupont Circle. Yes, exactly. That's what the gay community calls it over there: <laughs> Buffon uh, Circle or the Fruit Loop. <laughs> Fruit Loop's but pretty funny. That's what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> I like. Fruit Loop. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> Our culture is known for irreverent and dark humor. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, <laughs> oh man. Uh, Mr. Grizzly, how is your mental health today, sir? You know, um, pretty good. I was supposed to, I was scheduled to do an ASMR last night, but I had a terrible migraine and just, I felt horrible last night. I have no idea... Why? Other than maybe um, pressure system, the weather change caused a hmm. sinus headache. It was a terrible migraine and I had to bow out. I didn't want to, but I just, I was sitting there on the couch trying to watch the hockey game and I couldn't concentrate on it. And Bridget was looking at me and she's like, you don't feel good. I go, no, I feel terrible. And uh, woke up dehydrated this morning. Like, you know, when you wake up feeling hungover, but you've not been drinking. Yep. It's exactly how I felt when I woke up. So I've drank a lot of water and now I'm starting on the coffee and hopefully I'll, I'll, uh, feel like myself soon. But as for my mental health, uh, all things considered, I think I'm doing okay today, actually. Um, you Good. know, there's Good. this week is going to be a, an emotional one for me, yes. um, but, yes. uh, for many reasons. Yeah. So far, so good. You know, so far, so good. So yeah. 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 Man. Ugh, transitions suck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I still suck. don't know what I'm doing on Monday. I may be at home. I don't know. Nobody's told me anything yet. So. I know. It's, it's weird, eh? It's just, yeah. Well, like, they might it, still be looking for a position for me. Yeah. Because yeah. I told them, I said, I cannot and will not go back out into the field. I, I simply can't do it. Yeah. 
Like yep. my body's too broken. I no. Yep. No, that's yep. a young man's game. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yep. I, I get that. I get that. Ugh, fingers crossed that uh, things go well, Mr. Well, Wesley, that it's a smooth transition. I hope so. I mean, I'd be willing to move into project management and uh, then I can work from home. I'm happy to do that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, good morning to the kids who are joining us. Kit Elaine, Kit Cassie. Good morning to you, dears. Kit Argosi. Well, thanks, Cassie, by the way. Appreciate it. Thank you very uh, much. Oh, got a compliment? Yeah, something like that. Oh, lovely. Good morning, Kit PNC Bio. Good morning. Let's see who else do we have. Kit Vim. Hello, dear. I hope you're doing well. Kit Pete is joining us. Good day, mate. Lovely to see you. Oh, uh, what else do we have? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Kit Linda M. Hello, darling. Lovely to have you join us this morning. Uh, Kit Sean. Hey, lovely to see you. I haven't done the romper room thing for a while here. Oh. Kit Moan is here. Kit Carol is here. Good morning to you both. Uh, let's see what else. And of course, when we say hello to Kit Mohan or Miss Shadeka, we say hello to the entire family as well. And Mademoiselle Fox popping in at the last second to say good morning and to get a look through the mirror. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh, Mike H just slipping right in. Okay. Um, to Kit Tabby G. Hello. There we go. Everybody's popping up now. Kit Toronto Dan. Everybody wants a hello. <laughs> Everybody just wants to be mentioned on television. <laughs> I, all right. Um, Kits and Cubs. Uh, number one. Uh, if you have not seen it, uh, yesterday we had a mental health walk week special uh, with our good friends from the Dean Blundell show uh, yesterday. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, please do. Um, because It I'm, is on our channel. Yeah, it is on our channel. Uh, and Mr. Grizzly, we should probably, if we can, lift the audio uh, from it. Yeah, and, I'll take care of that. And put it because uh, since we're still behind on the episode descriptions, at least that one would get the news to our audience that this is happening. So you just want me to go ahead and post it right away? Yeah, it, yeah. If you can, like, or maybe we can stop and like maybe a little record like a one minute thing to put in front of it, mm -hmm. put it up or something. Okay. Uh, we can do that then, tonight. Yeah, and then maybe just record a, a, a special little ad, like two, three, four minutes that we can send in because I'm not going to be able to do two weeks of episode descriptions before Friday, and I do want our, our podcast audience to be able to hear it. So right. figure slip in that one in as a special episode. We'll 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 achieve, we'll achieve that. Okay. Um, cause I was listening to it and it just dawned on me, ah, oh, darn, I could do that. Yeah. 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 Cause that was my, that was my main concern. I didn't want to lose the podcast audience cause we're still behind. Um, behind, yeah. for those who are asking, uh, my beaver sweetie is doing well. Um, I, I had gotten close to catching up and then, um, home renovation started again and it, it, they were posing the siding and it was just so noisy that you, I, I couldn't focus. Like I'm literally like one of the walls we're working on is literally two feet from where I'm sitting. Uh, so it was very, very loud. And then with uh, my beaver sweetie with COVID, of course, well, then you're, yeah, you know, yeah. you're on double duty, right? Because he can't go anywhere. Uh, he is doing much, 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 much better, by the way. So uh, for those who have been asking. Uh, so yes, I'm falling a little bit behind, but I will catch up. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm, I'm also, or I'm also co-organizing a walk. <laughs> yeah, taking, yeah. taking up a little time. But uh, so yeah. Uh, appreciate your patience, uh, our audience at home. We will catch up, though, however. So All right. those, those who are looking to order uh, mental health walk yes. T-shirts, you can uh, just uh, transfer, e transfer the money, $35. That includes taxes and shipping, and you can just uh, e-transfer it to truenortheagerbeaver at gmail.com. And Mr. Beaver will see to it that you get your order. Now, whether or not you're going to get it before Saturday is, a, is another question, but you can still get the shirt and and the proceeds of which all profits from the proceeds of the sales of the shirt is going towards mental health we're not making any money on this at all that was not our goal our goal is to create awareness and uh, raise some funds mm -hmm. a little voguing for you a little fashion everything i learned about modeling products i learned from the prices right <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense, actually. <laughs> I didn't pick up on that right away. You I thought you were Vanna Whiting. Stand. Well, I thought you were Vanna Whiting, but I'm like, no, Vanna just turns letters. She doesn't present the products. So. Yes. <laughs> oh, Janice. <laughs> yes, Bob. <laughs> Did you spay your pets? Did you neuter them? <laughs> the Barker's Beauties. Didn't he sleep with all of them? Wasn't he a dirty old man? I, I, I don't know. I've never heard that. 
Oh yeah, no, if I heard did, that. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite was Holly. I liked Holly. She yeah. had some sass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, kids and cubs. Uh, Miss Sudeke, I thought Douglas cut his hair and I was all for it. Looks awesome. Yeah, I know. I for some reason I I got in front of the mirror today and I thought, ooh, this is working. You so, got like an Elvis pompadour on there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I have volume. You have to understand, like when my hair is fresh, 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 clean, it is so flat and straight and fine. <laughs> I can't do anything. So, it's like, so this is a. Uh, <clears throat> It's, it, they say when you're styling your hair to have a little bit of grease in it because mm -hmm. it actually helps. Um, this is the grease helping. So. <laughs> I got something for you here in case you didn't All right. Notice. Here, check this out. Da, 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 da. Yes, I know, eh? Okay, so now we've jumped to 1,615 and we got 843 in the last 28 days. So literally now, literally, this is true. We have more than 50% of our YouTube subscribership in the last 28 days. This is amazing to me, but, but it's this, thank you all. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for subscribing. And, and to those who've been here since the beginning, we salute you. Yeah. Because, um, for those of you who've been here since the beginning, uh, you've had us like for more than like three years and you're not tired of us yet. So yeah. yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can barely stand myself five days a week for three years. Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We all know I love myself. <laughs> well, let's just put it this way. My oh, self-esteem is good. Thanks, Mo. Oh, what did Moran say? Comment there. He says, uh, this, d discussing yes. the uh, mental health walk show. Uh, yes. The show is good and necessary. All the stuff you guys talked about affects men of color, plus the whole racism thing just adds another level to the cake. Yeah. And for people like me, you know, the, the <clears> whole homophobic thing mm -hmm. I mean, look you know june used to be a month of joy and celebration june used to be a month a lot of people looked forward to or yeah. if you were in a city where your pride is you know, not in june because of mm. the weather or whatnot or just there's so many of them on the calendar you got to spread them out um but now it's like you know the, the last two years even for me mm -hmm. even for me and trust me it's like i know how to tell people to go screw themselves oh yeah <laughs> okay mm -hmm. and i have no like i'm very very kind and very very nice but i don't suffer fools lightly <laughs> No, no. Yes. And I don't, I, I don't, I don't suffer, you know, people disrespecting others. So, I mean, I, exactly. I, I have no problem, you know, I, I don't have my, as we say in French, my langue dans ma poche. I don't keep my tongue in my pocket. Mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, tell people, uh, whoa, unacceptable. And uh, you can go screw yourself. Thank you. Um, but nowadays it's like, you know, every time it's like, well, happy pride month and yeah. <sighs> Happy yeah. hire, happy pride here, happy triggered by rainbows month, right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and, and one comes with you, it's like, it's like now, nowadays you cannot have pride without having that. So we're, as a community, we're sort of in a phase. And, you know, we've always had a protester or two or whatnot, like some guy stand mm -hmm. with a placard and whatnot, but that's fine. That's freedom of expression. You show up yes. at a parade like this, you stand quietly, you hold a sign, whatnot like this. It's different than the hatred that's been spewed whatever you know like this we have no problem with that like this and the other thing is as well it's like um all of you who are doing this do you think you're the first <laughs> to try to insult us like that's literally the entire history of our community yeah thousands of yeah. years up until like you know the last late 1960s mm -hmm. and then the last third it's like yeah if you don't think we're built for this <laughs> yeah yeah well you know where do you think our sense of humor came from it's like repelling you i forget which asses. movie it was in um was it it might have been boiler room there's a scene where all these traders are having uh drinks in a, in a bar somewhere and the table next to them is a, is a group of of gay men and they're sitting there and blah, blah, blah. And one of the characters, and I think it was Scott, um, shit, can't think of his last name. Anyway, he, he says, you know, they should all round you guys up and put you all on an island somewhere. And the guy, <laughs> the gay guy looks at him and he goes, oh, honey, they did. They did. You're on it. Because they were in yes. Manhattan. <laughs> right. <laughs> they're like, oh, We've honey. done that already. Fire Ireland, darling. <laughs> Scott, um, uh, his father just, Scott Kahn. Okay. 
Yeah, he he played the character, which is like out of character for him because he's the furthest thing from from a homophobe. <laughs> but right. you know, he's an actor, and he's a pretty good one too. You play the roles. Yeah, and did you I, know that you know his father had a terrible drug addiction for a long time, right? And when oh, Scott yeah. was older, he um and it, and James Con told the story. He says, "Yeah, when my son was eighteen, and my dealer came over, my son pulled out a baseball bat and beat the guy damn near to death." said you ever come around here again i'll kill you and he meant it because he knew how his father was really struggling and he just no i'm protecting my dad so i'm like scott khan's a stand-up guy i'm sure he's got problems just like the rest of us but he's a pretty stand-up guy when i heard that story i was like there's a guy who's gonna go to the wall for his father you know because he knew his father had a serious addiction yeah. Well, hey, you know, I like the way that you mentioned that because that makes a nice little segue to where it is that we're going to go today. We talked about a son who would go to the wall for his father when his father was in trouble and somebody was trying to prey on and exploit him. Mm-hmm. Well, as you know, kids and cubs, we do have a little situation going on in Canada that uh, involves a little something called treason (laughs) so tis the season for treason now we have five major political parties in canada i don't count the six because max not it we have five major political parties in canada five leaders five of them have the security clearance required four of them sorry Sorry, let's say three, because Blanchette doesn't have it yet, but he's applying for it. Yes, he is. Okay. Soon, we will have four of -hmm. the leaders, including the leader of the party that has as a mission to make sure that Quebec becomes an independent nation. Yeah, split the country up, right? Yes. So they're not particularly all that into Canada. No. And the leader of that party is going to get their security clearance because this particular thing, this particular thing is so exceptional that even someone that says, yeah, I know I have access to this stuff, but I don't want it because I don't care. Well, I'm not in it for out, Canada. The, the, what was it? Was it uh, from the uh, Western standard pitch bot mm-hmm. yesterday that I pointed yeah. out that Pierre Polyev, I, I will not let facts and reason get in the way. <laughs> Facts and reason. Ah, come on. I just sent you a, a link in the, in the private chat there. Have a look at it and let me know whether or not you want to talk about it. Because I don't. I, it's it's. I don't know if we should broach that subject. Uh, reason being, it's it's a rumor, and mm, I, it's one I I can certainly believe, but I don't know if we should. Uh, no, not yet. I don't think so. Yeah. No, no. We need more no, we need no. more corroborating evidence before we discuss that. No, no, that, that that's the type of stuff that destroys reputation. As much as I cannot stand this father mugger. Agreed. And I cannot stand this mother. Agreed. Sorry, father mugger. Sorry. No, uh, agreed. I, I'm in complete um, agreement with no, you. That's, that's why one I said of the let me... absolute worst things that it's yeah. close to the worst things you can say about someone and yeah. you know, I'm not I'm not gonna speculate on that. Well, and that's why I send it to you because I'm like, oh, I, I don't think we should do that right away. No, but no, let's no, keep on no, top of it so no, that if there's more yeah corroborating evidence comes forward we will discuss it but in the meantime i'm not against discussing rumors and saying that there are rumors but not this kind of not that one no 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 no. that's there is a line and i don't need clicks that bad no Um, exactly we look yes we we want to drive our viewership we want to oh no we could lead with this and it would be salty and we would we would probably get like 300 300 instant on this but We're, we're not we're not gossip columnists okay we don't deal in gossip. We deal in facts. We don't have any facts to back up this rumor. And that's, we're going to leave it at that for now. Yeah. You know, no, that's not, uh, but no. it is something I want to sit on and pay attention to. Because if if more, it's true, it will come out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah. And that's we won't the be the stuff. first to, to talk about it either. There'll be, no, no. you know, no, no, it'll be front page. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. No, 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 that, that, that's, uh, no, 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 no I, 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 that goes against my morals. Yeah, no, agreed, agreed. That's um, why I just, I wanted to run it by yeah, you. Yeah, I'm glad, no, no, I'm glad you did, yeah, yeah. Because I wasn't um, going to show it without talking to you first, and I'm like. I, uh, sorry if we're sounding cryptic uh, kits, but um, uh, 
if you happen to stumble upon it on your social media, you will know what it is as soon as you see it. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, you don't need any hints. Uh, no, no hints, no hints. Not, not even the hint. We're not going to go there. It's no. Just that, a member that, of that, parliament that's not us. and a rumor, and that's it. Yeah, that's all we're saying. And and and, and a really not nice one. A not nice rumor. And, and right now, the mood, uh, the public mood, because we are talking treason, is such that. Um, They'll, and uh, people know, will look for torches any and thing. torches and pitchforks. Yes, I mean yes. basically that's what's going on right now. Okay, we have to understand that there are traitors on our midst. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Like, hey, hold on, hold I on. I want to get them. I do. If there are, I do want to get them. But we want proof. But not at any cost. No, no. Because we can't lose our heads. We can't lose our temperance. We can't lose process. We can't decide. Hey, this particular time we're going to dispense with process. Because these, when when you have moments like these, these are the moments when a nation needs to really, really stick mm -hmm. to its principles and its values and its process. No, that's, oh, that's not the rumor. Shy. That's not that's the rumor. That's not the rumor. <laughs> no, that's not the rumor. No, 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 no. Exactly. Oh, there's worse ones that. about him, but we're not oh, yeah, going to yeah, discuss yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly, Kitlin. We do not want McCarthyism here. Right? Exactly. But we do have questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you today is, and this is sort of this morning because um, the conservatives are still at it. Like as I told you, the conservatives just basically disappeared for about thirty-six hours mm -hmm. when the news came out. And then they decided uh, on what their strategy is. And it seems that their strategy was, well, hmm, there are more than one party in this thing, and there are media in this thing, and nobody's going to tell on anybody, because all the major parties, as Andrew Coy pointed out, probably fear that one of the results of this is going to be that Elections Canada will be called in to oversee, monitor, set some ground rules or stuff like that for, uh, you know, writing nomination races and leadership party leadership races. And uh, there's one thing, a political party that likes to consider themselves a private organization, organization mm -hmm. does not want is extra eyes and extra rules and whatnot and how they run their own internal affairs, right? Because that way they can't parachute a candidate in whenever they want or they can't block. For example, if you're a conservative party of Canada, um, pro-choice women from running from your party by just disqualifying them. Because, or by saying, hey, we're announcing this uh, nomination race. Get your, uh, get your papers in by uh, June 12th and uh, the vote will be June 16th. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, when do I get to campaign? Yeah. Oh, well, hey, hey, those are the rules, sorry. <laughs> Same rules for everyone, I guess it's fair. Well, you know, I mean, we have to be realistic and reasonable, right? Right. So <clears throat> I'm sure that there's a lot of parties who don't want that. So that's one of the reasons. But uh, as this is growing and this is growing at a pretty rapid speed, um, I think that we might be hitting a point where events are accelerating uh, at a rate such that um, certain parties, well, certain things might end up being inevitable and uh, certain parties may not be able to catch up. Now, one of the things that we have here was we have Andrew Scheer. Um, he's been releasing a whole bunch of stupid tweets, but oh, now, now, as Roger you know, Andrew Roger. Scheer, our view here is that Andrew Scheer racked up a pretty huge debt. $700,000. Allegedly. Uh, and some of that was, I don't think that was on, alleged. Wasn't that proven? There was a, well, see, there was a report, an internal report. Right. And that the party promised they would make it public. And they never did. And then the report did, and then all of a sudden they decided to squash it, which caused a lot of cons consternation within the party. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of people in the party that fought and the turnaround says, you cannot do this. So, you know, everybody's wondering like, well, Andrew Scheer, usually when you run for, you know, in an election, Mm -hmm. as the candidate that would be the prime minister should right. your party win and you don't you go Shut away down. yeah he's still there well he so couldn't leave the trough reason, no then he couldn't leave the trough well this see my theory is that yes maybe he couldn't leave the trough but my theory is is that um 
the party told him, it's like, we will not release this because if we do, you're probably going to be criminally charged and you probably will go to jail. So if you want to keep your ass out of jail, uh, you will keep running in that seat and uh, you will, you know, that Andrew, 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 you will tweet what we tell you to tweet. Mm -hmm. I think that's a lot, a large part of it because it's, I, I don't think he's really that. Cause he's the one that they to. always send out to do the, to be the public dickhead. Well, it's like, so, literally, it's like Andrew Shear, whatever pride you had, <laughs> forget that. You don't have that anymore. You're a bitch. So I, I was talking with a colleague last week. Uh, oh, sorry, let me rephrase that. I was sitting in on a meeting and one of the, my colleagues in the meeting said something along the lines of blah, 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 blah. Well, my old friend, Andrew Shear, and I kind of went, mm. <laughs> hey, but I, I get it. You know, government, uh, Crown Corp, they work together, like it or not. Uh, mm -hmm. whatever, I get it, but I don't know if I'd ever call that man a friend. <laughs> yeah. Now, so, I don't know him personally. I don't. Hmm. Uh, maybe he's a real nice person in person. I don't know. I don't no. think so. I no. get the feeling that he's a greasy out for himself individual. Everything about his, every, everything about this man's a lie. Yeah. His CV's a lie. Yeah. His citizenship <laughs> was a lie. Yeah. yeah. His career well, see his career like this. His like in the entire political campaign, the guy he's another Arnold Viersen who has like five or six or something kids, and whatnot. Like by the mm -hmm. time he was, you know, thirty something. This yeah, like, we paid for his child's education twice. Yeah, the general tax dollars that we pay for everybody to go to public education, and then he decided that that wasn't good enough. He was all going to send him to private school, and some of that money was used for that as well. Yeah, again. I said, oh, no, that's not your money. That's our money. No, no. These are donations to the political party of the Conservative Party of Canada, which are covered by the political donation tax credit, which is subsidized at something like 60% or even more mm -hmm. by you. Right. It so was it's your still money. our money. It was your money. Let you me want me to put this on the screen, sir? This, yeah, uh... just put it on the screen. We're not going to play it. Don't need okay. to hear his voice. It's stupid. But he's like standing up and you will see like it sits down and we'll do the, the, the watching sorry i don't want the no volume but just look at his face you know he's like standing there and you know especially when he sits down you go, mm, yeah i said it <laughs> he's like canadians have a right to know the truth about these shocking allegations justin trudeau must release the names and provide the full redacted information so these allegations can be investigated independently have your say at okay mm -hmm. <laughs> canadians have a right to know the truth about these shocking allegations yeah they do mm-hmm in time. Once the investigation is done. And isn't there a, uh, the Bloc, the NDP, the Liberals, and I think the Green have yeah, all I'm signed on to... I'm, get, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Don't scoop me. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know. Uh, no, just... no, 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 no. But that's what you, you, you... I like it. You like to go right for it. But weaving a little narrative here. Um, <laughs> so this guy here... Um, so Canadians have a right to know the, about these shocking allegations. Yes, we do. And there's a process for that. Oh, yes. Absolutely. In time. Yes. Justin Trudeau must release the names. No, he must not. Justin Trudeau, as prime minister of the country, must make sure that if we are talking treason and if there is an investigation, that there is absolutely nothing that happens that hinders the investigation or creates a situation for any of the people who are alleged to be guilty, who might eventually be proven guilty, to not be able to go to jail because of a technicality. Mm. That's Justin Trudeau's job, yes. not to release the names. Now, as we pointed out, there are, third, there are 11 members on that ENSACOP committee. Two of them are Conservative Party of Canada members yes, or MPs, and both of them have those names. And the Conservative Party has 100% of the power within its own caucus to be able to release those names. So the first question is, why is it incumbent if four parties have at least one person who knows all the names, why is it incumbent on, the on Justin Trudeau to release the names? So they can make him the names must be released. Yeah. If it was really, really that important to release those names, right? Canadians mm -hmm. deserve to know like this. They have the power to do it. They are choosing not to while demanding someone else do. Yeah. They are literally asking 
the prime minister, break the law, blow up our sources and methods, compromise every single investigation, and give us a get out of jail free card if it happens that any of our members are on that list. And the only reason for which you would be asking the prime minister to do all of those things, deductive reasoning in my brain says, is because you're on that list. Oh, yeah. You have people on that list. And probably in a quantity that is embarrassing enough that you would want someone to blow up any possibility for criminal charges. Well, and, and just think of, like you say, the five eyes, the, all, all the ramifications of releasing that information now before the investigation has even begun. Or, and blowing it up without the permit. There's a lot of intel in there that we only have, again, mm -hmm. like I said, the central library from which we can borrow to consult, mm -hmm. but not much else. Yeah. We, like want, you're asking we still want access to that library? Right now, he's basically telling us to Burn blow up down. our access to that yeah. library. Burn it all down. That's what they want to do. They're everything anarchists. That they're, yes, everything that they are asking for would make us weaker and less able to defend and protect ourselves but, and less able to root alleged traitors out of our midst. I, I agree with him on one thing and one thing only. We all want to know who did it. Absolutely. We don't. Please. It's human nature. Yeah. Who betrayed we us? We have been made aware. Who betrayed us? Get get him. Yes, we all want that. I don't think there's a person in this country that doesn't want that, except for oh, maybe yes. the people who did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, must release the names. Provide the full unredacted information. So just Can't blow everything up. Cannot do so that. So the allegations. So the allegations can be investigated independent by whom, Andrew? Because yeah. uh, the RCMP is already doing that. And we've got an inquiry coming up, so, you know. And we have an inquiry. With how, so who, who, by whom should this be investigated independently other than the people who actually are Mr. Shear? Okay, kids and cubs. When you read it, sounds great, right? There are traitors. Release the names. Give us the underdacted information. Let's have it investigated independently. Sounds great. It's already being investigated independently. The names, if there are any, are probably in the hands of the authorities so that they can do the investigation. So they will have been released to someone, somewhere. Right? And so would have the unredacted information mm -hmm. in that case. So it's just not a free-for-all. So right now, all these conservatives doing this, I want you to know Again, you're paying for this. Your time, your dime, and you're paying for basically political performance theater. Performance art. They minds will be standing on a street corner wearing a laundry basket on their head, holding a lamp post like this, and a spatula pretending that they're fighting pasta warriors. Yes. Like this, with some like weird whale music in the back. <laughs> Because literally that's what they're doing. It's literally performance art theater. It means nothing. It has no value. It has mm -hmm. no worth. <laughs> I put something on the screen for those listening in only, <laughs> the audio only version. Dean from Winnipeg, our friend Dean from Winnipeg on, on the Twitter or the X as it's now called. Pierre Polyev and his merry band of fools whine so much they should rename themselves the Karen Servative Party of Canada. But um. <laughs> <laughs> So, and apologies to my good Karens in in the uh, yes in the uh, not all Karens sphere. hashtag yeah that's right not all Karens yeah. <laughs> not all Karens not all Karens um, here's one thing I just want you to know kids as we uh, watch four parties basically all coming together to do what's in the best interest of Canada and uh, the other one riding into uh, every conversation on a tricycle juggling balls wearing floppy shoes and playing in the background mm -hmm. and that would be the conservatives any political parties any political parties spending any of our time and any of our money doing anything else mm -hmm. but rooting the traitors out of their own midst 
which right now the Conservative Party of Canada cannot do no. because its leader does not is not supposed to know. I I have no data or facts on which to base this other than past behavior is the best predictor of future behavior. And this is a party that respects absolutely nothing and no one. So I assume that that behavior and that attitude is consistent even to this and that the two CPC members on that committee and SACOP committee did not respect the rules when it comes to sharing that information with their leader of their party. Well, it's, well no. maybe, maybe not the party because there's a lot of idiots in that party who like to run their mouths, but there's at least of, the leader. There's lots of things that are going to come out of this. And, and the one thing that uh, it, there's just coming across my feed here right now is I always thought it was interesting how Pierre Polyev paid off the legal fees of the whistleblower in quotation marks that removed Patrick Brown from the leadership race. I'm like, you know, PP is quaking in his boots right now. He is. Well, listen, you just, you, again, you just have to watch his, uh, how he's changed, right? Mm -hmm. After nine years of trusting Trudeau, wax the tax, stop the crown. When's the last time you heard him say that? Been a couple of days, eh? Maybe he's a little preoccupied with a couple of other things right now. Well, from about 18 so, hours ago, he, he t uh, tweeted out this. After nine years of Justin Trudeau, rent has never been so expensive. Yeah. And after spending $4.4 billion on a housing accelerator, the number of homes being built is down, not worth the cost. Um, see, here's the thing, uh, Skippy. When you say, we're going to start to build houses, you don't just show up in a field and start digging holes. Planning yeah. needs to be involved. Yes, I know. I know. There's these are people, there's, like I said. Oh, <laughs> but this again, it's intentional. But here's the thing right now, the word, the word of the day is motherfucking treason. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about rent. <laughs> yeah. Nobody cares about your typical little song and dance. She's like, look, look over here, look over here, over here, oh, look over there, look over there, please look over this there. Is Skippy. This is not your typical Tuesday. No, 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 no. It's not your typical Tuesday. It's Trader Tuesday. A whole lot less fun than Taco Tuesday. Hmm? So, any parties that are doing anything else, anything else on this subject, other than doing what it is needed to root the traders out of their own party, alleged traders, or actually standing up for process. The proper process to get to the bottom of this. These are parties that right now have made a choice and they're doing it right in front of your eyes. They're hiding it in plain sight. They are working against Canada. With these types of tweets, sheer is aiding and abetting, providing aid and comfort to the alleged traitors that are in his party. And across all of it. Because if you release those, that all that information, those sources and methods and all that kind of stuff, anybody that might be within the Liberal Party, anybody that might be within the NDP or the Bloc or the Greens that would have been affected, assuming that there are, would also all get off scot-free. Mm -hmm. There would be no consequences for any of it other than a little public shame. But hey, we're in 2024 and people don't feel shame anymore. So name and shame them. That doesn't work. No. They print it, they frame it, and they put it on their wall. And, and they're proud of it <clears throat> when they get named and shamed. There are folks now who are um, going to the mat for Pierre Polyev because they're in a cult. Uh, and here's here's an example. I'm going to put one tweet on the screen here uh, I'll for a few seconds, and then I'll read it for the audio version only, because I'm like, oh, this this person's gone so far down the rabbit hole, it doesn't even make sense yep. anymore. Yep. Debt Dole, I don't know, D-O-O-W-L-L-E. Hmm. Pierre doesn't lie about anything. Okay, there. Please, everybody lies about something, girl. Come on. Like he right says, Trudeau's incompetence has broken this country. Sure, there are those that like inflation, that like it, that all Canadians are worse off thanks to Trudeau. None of that makes any sense. 
Yeah. But those ate the true and on government workers and lazy socialists broken. I think he wanted to type R there. I don't know. Yeah, those are. But when I look on look at this person's um <laughs> their, their bio. Yeah. An expert on political issues, COVID, climate change, and many other topics as determined by a consensus of peers, widely considered a genius. So I don't know if the whole account is a Fake parody account. or if he's serious. This is a yeah. really long thread. I'm not going to bother with it. I would it, guess but... it's parody because the apple is green rather than red. Yeah, except like he's really going to the bat for Pierre on this, uh, like on this thread. I'll send you the link to the thread and you, you okay. have a look at it, sir. Um, All right. It's just hilarious. Oh, man. So yesterday we had some uh, very interesting developments. I'm wondering, do you happen to have the, the clip of uh, Mr. Singh? Uh, just a second. Oh. From yesterday. Um, so in a, how would I put it? The, um, the objective here at the moment from the other political parties needs to be, and it seems that they have picked up on this, is to either... Well, it's to get the conservatives to come along in some way. Mm -hmm. And uh, they haven't come willingly. So, and shame doesn't work. So the only other option is to try to paint them in a corner that is so uncomfortable, that is so untenable to be in mm -hmm. while in the public square with mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. eyes of the entire nation watching that they will have no choice but to come. And the reason I am bringing this to your attention is that uh, while the Conservative Party of Canada has been talking a good game about this foreign interference thing, um, if you've been following it, mm -hmm. um, again, you never count on a Conservative for consistency. There has been some inconsistency. So, for example, uh, they were claiming, we need a foreign, and we need an inquiry, we need an inquiry. So, uh, Trudeau gave him one. Well, sorry, give him an investigation first, we got Governor General David Johnston, man of mm -hmm. impeccable reputation, so much so that it's the Conservative cool. Party of Canada, when they were leaders, named him Governor General, mm -hmm. which is the highest position in the land. Yes, so he was good enough. That of the Prime Minister. Yes. So he was good enough for that when the Conservatives thought that he was their guy. He was also, I think, appointed to set the terms of reference for the, the, the uh, Oliphant Commission which looked at uh, the, the Carl Heinz Schreiber thing. Mm. Like this. The conservatives also picked him for that. So he's good enough for that. He is good enough to be governor general. But all of a sudden, when Trudeau decides he's going to pick him to look at the foreign interference, well, then all of a sudden, David Johnston is a man who could be corrupted and would be corrupted. Well, he's Justin Trudeau's ski buddy. Yes. So they destroyed his reputation, making it such that we had to replace and find another one. That's a delay. Yeah. There is no one. It was wrapped up in. It will not oh, sacrifice. Yeah, it was wrapped up in. No, no, this needs to be, this is corrupt. This needs to be clean, 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 clean. That was the face they put on it. But really, what was the end result? A delay. Mm -hmm. Then, um, Johnston was named. And Johnston wanted to talk to a few people. Mm -hmm. And then PP refused to talk to David Johnston. Well, I'm not going to legitimize this process. Okay, we're talking about putting the nation first. But you don't like David Johnston all of a sudden. So you're just not going to participate. Well, that seems rather unhelpful to get into the bottom of it, and it creates a um, delay. Yeah. So then they get what they want. Johnson is removed. So then the federal government goes, well, we're not going to put a name forward. You give us your names. We already went it. We already stuck our neck out once. And all the parties gave names. Yeah, except the conservatives. Mm -hmm. Unhelpful. And a delay. Starting to get the, starting to think that the conservatives don't really want to get to the bottom of this, no matter how much they've been flapping their arms and moving a lot of air and getting a lot of airtime and looking very, very concerned. Mm. One of their best Mike Pence's. Oh, yes. Oh, foreign interference is a very, very terrible thing. 
We really have to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> ah! Not that way. Not that guy. Not that no, question. No, 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 not no. these countries. Not the, the whole thing. No, no. Only China. Only the last two years. Only, and all the other parties. Now we're doing everything. The conservatives keep on going, okay, yeah, we're going ahead with it. They're not, they're not happy about this. <laughs> they're not happy about the larger it gets. They want it to be about two very specific things. Only when this current government was power. Never look at anything that happened before. Only look at the federal elections. Don't look at any party stuff. Right? Mm-hmm. And now... We need to know what the next steps are for this. And they are just saying, blow everything up. Release everything now. Put everything on the table. And you know, that's the common thing, right? The arrives gotten stuff. Release the documents. The vaccines. Procurement. Release the documents. Release the contracts. Violate propriety. And they always want, for some reason, someone to break the law. Hmm. The alleged party of law in order always is asking for people to break the law and order something that would allow people who allegedly committed treason to not suffer any consequence. That's a really odd position for a law and order party. You think? <laughs> and also the law and power order party happens to be the, we are more patriotic, holier and more patriotic than thou party. Mm-hmm. So, gee, you would think that Patriot, when there were traitors in their midst, would be the first ones there. Well, But no, they've gone limp. And we're carrying them like dead weight. I have the clip of jug meat. So this is what happened yesterday. Come on, play. On uh, the Anticop report, we think it is very, very serious and deeply troubling that the ANSICOP report indicates there are MPs that knowingly worked with foreign governments to undermine Canada. We also believe it's deeply concerning that the allegations uh, the ANSICOP raises also touch the conservative leadership race. The idea that a foreign government was involved in the selection of the leader of the conservative party is deeply concerning, so much so that we are writing a letter demanding that the public inquiry into foreign interference in elections include the conservative leadership race. It is that serious that it requires Canadians to know exactly what happened, uh, to understand how much, what happened, what was the interference, uh, the extent to which a foreign government was involved in the selection of the leader of the conservative party. That is something Canadians ought to know. That's why we are writing that letter, demanding its inclusion into the public inquiry. I'll do that in French, then I. Look forward to your questions. I can't disagree with a thing he said. Mm -hmm. Now, as good as this is, Mr. Singh did not go all the way. Because if he really wanted to go all the way, he would have said, and we call upon Elections Canada. He would say, and we as the NDP would like to call in Elections Canada and ask them henceforth that henceforth our party nomination races and our party leadership race will be under their purview. Yeah, Kid Vim, Jugmeet knows about Modi. I'm sure Jugmeet really knows about Modi. <laughs> if there's one person who would know. <laughs> um. So, um, <laughs> probably and probably got the Modi treatment a couple of times somewhere along the way as well. Um, after this, um, this is based on a motion presented in the House by the um, very um, patriotic, extremely nationalistic um, all in for Canada, Bloc Québécois. Mm -hmm. It's a Bloc Québécois motion to refer, to give the unredacted report, all the names, everything, to the Foreign Interference Investigation or Commission Commissioner, Justice marie josée Hugg, so that she can look into it, and slightly expand her mandate. And the federal government has... Um, said, 
So it's a block motion. The NDP came out and supported it. And Dominique Leblanc from the Liberals has basically said, yeah, we're down with that. I'm pretty sure that uh, Miss May, uh, I haven't seen anything yet that says what her position is, but um, I have a fairly good idea if uh, we go based on track record and history that uh, Miss May will have absolutely no problem with that as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Miss May and Mr. Singh uh, are basically uh, having arrangements made right now so that they can see the documents right now. So online you'll see, well, why doesn't Miss May seen any, said anything? Mr. Singh said, well, they haven't seen them yet. They've announced that they want to. Those documents are being prepared for them to see. Um, but they haven't seen them yet, so that's why we haven't heard from them yet. So, assuming that Miss May is in, and I have no doubt that she is, I just don't have information to that effect, um, we have four of the five major political parties all agreeing, send the names to Justice Marie-José Hug. And then there's Andrew, ba -ba -bum. and then there's Andrew, ba -ba -ba -bum. release the names, make it all public. Let's not send it up to the justice. Just put it out on the table right now. Blow everything up. Yeah, that doesn't make you stand out in any way. That doesn't make the eyes of the entire nation, just all the heads of the entire nation just go. Hmm? Uh -huh. One party, the same party as always, once again, is not rowing in the same direction as the rest of the team. And again, I have to keep on reminding you that the word of the day is motherfucking treason. Mm -hmm. Have a look at the link I just sent you in the private chat and give me your thoughts before we... Uh, um, I'm like, it's from, the source is... Uh, <laughs> what 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 says here i'm questioning but and and the source of this uh, quote is dubious at best uh, okay so not the, the not the tom lukasic one the other one no the one below that you can okay. look at the lukasic one later but All this right. one i want you to have a look at right now harrison loman yeah he's from the hub yes 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 uh, now it's this is interesting too because okay well let's put this one up yeah. Okay. I'll put it on. No, the screen oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's interesting his take. Um, yes. So I'll read this for the audio only version from Harrison Lohman. I spoke to the former head of CSIS, Richard Fadden, about the Ensicott report. In quotation, the alleged behavior is not treasonous. Canadian law requires it to be the use of force or violence for the purpose of overthrowing the government or it requires the communication of information of a military or scientific nature to a foreign state that would be prejudicial to the safety or defense of Canada. None of the examples provided in the report suggests either of those conditions are present. This situation illustrates a broader problem. There is no offense of foreign interference. Okay, so not treason, disloyalty to Canada. Well, I, I had said from the outset, I mean, some people are saying this is treason. I'm like, well, no, it's not treason. We're not, no. Because there's no threat of violence. There's, it's not a wartime thing. That's, it's not actually treason. Treasonous in its behavior, sure, but it's not textbook treason. Okay. So we're dealing with disloyalty to Canada if we want to be precise. Um, now, Somebody just wanted to seize the reins of power and would do anything to do it. Yes. Um, interestingly, CSIS, uh, former head of CSIS, Richard Fadden, is also uh, not for referring all of this to Justice marie -José Oh. Yes. His position is basically that uh, she already has too much to do on a timeline that's too short. And throwing that in to just guarantees that she won't uh, be able to look at it as well as she, she, said she should. Now, I believe, if I am not mistaken, that uh, either the Prime Minister or... Um, Dominique Leblanc, I'm not sure who it was, uh, has said that they would be willing uh, to maybe extend the time uh, that she is there or to make whatever accommodations are required and, and able to, in order to be able to allow her to take that on. Um, uh, but I haven't seen um, 
I've seen kind of sort of the, some reporting that, that 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 there's been that, but I haven't seen like an actual quote or mm-hmm. heard an actual quote from somebody saying, "Yes, we are willing to do that." But it seems that on background, um, that's what, when when journalists are reporting. Like some people talk to them for the camera, some people talk to them off the record, and sometimes if it's and, and some people call on background, so they will uh, talk to people to give people accept the background information behind something that they can use so that they can pro- provide some context. So in this case, this would probably be something on background um, that they probably heard that they are open to it and whatnot, but there's still not a quote yet said, yeah, we're, we're, we're down for that. PNC bio is correct in this. The convoy was treason. Violent threats about hanging yes. PM seems to fit McFadden's definition. Yes. Also, uh, don't forget, they asked the governor general to... Uh, disband parliament and that they would put in their own people. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I just put in the, in the chat, the link to the textbook definition of treason and I'll read some of it to you. Treason and other offenses against the well, King's authority in person. Now, uh, high treason 46 part one, everyone commits high treason who, who in Canada, a kills or attempts to kill his majesty or does him any bodily harm tending to death or destruction maims or wounds him or imprisons or restrains him b levies war against canada or does any act preparatory thereto or c assists an enemy at war with canada or any armed forces against whom canadian forces are engaged in hostilities whether or not a state of war exists between canada and the country whose forces they are it it goes on and on and on but basically it is not textbook treason. And I had said that last week when I had a discussion with a friend of mine and he says, no treason by definition is, and he laid it all out for me. So I just, like I said, I put the link into the, into the chat. It's a tweet that gives you the screen caps of the uh, textbook definition, legal textbook definition of what treason is. So good, 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 good. No, it's good to be precise. It is good to be precise. And that's what we want. Because again, as we mentioned yesterday, one of, uh, one of the worst things that you can accuse a person of individually in society is pedophilia. And politically, one of the worst things you can accuse someone of is treason. So well, and if it's not one of the responses, technically treason, fine. One of the responses to that uh, tweet from The Hub, uh, from who's the individual, Harrison Lohman, says, so the convoy folks' action in their MOU was treasonous? Yep. Their stated intention was to install themselves as government throughout the elected government of Canada. Last time I looked, that's the textbook example of treason. We take our democracy pretty seriously here in Canada. And I'm like, yeah, no, that would be because they were, they threatened to hang the prime minister and then said, come out and talk to us. You threatened my life. Why would I talk to you? What was it he said during the MOU or, or the uh, POEC? Uh, they did not want to be bargained with. They did not want to be listened to. They did not want to have a conversation. They wanted to be obeyed. And that's not how democracy works. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm not sure where this is going to go over the next few days, kids and cubs. Um, but it definitely sees that there's, it definitely seems that there is a strategy afoot to isolate the conservative party of Canada from the other parties. I think the other parties, uh, understand how important this is and what this means. And uh, the fact that there's one party that doesn't, again, uh, you have to look at behavior because we don't have facts. And you have to look at, in such a situation, what would you expect parties to do? In general, what would be the right thing to do? Then, based on their track records, what would you expect this party to do? And that's why the initial reaction from the conservatives was really weird because the conservatives, as soon as you said, listen, I mentioned it. I've seen Pierre Polyev get more warped up about woke donuts mm-hmm. than alleged disloyalty to Canada. Oh, yes. This is inconsistent behavior. It's because this is a threat to his leadership. There have been this a whole bunch of things. This is a threat to his uh, ability to, to, to uh, harness the reins of power. Exactly. There have been a whole bunch of things that have not been scandals that they turned around and said scandal. This is an actual scandal. Yeah, and a big one. And he's not on it. Yeah. Inconsistent behavior. That should tell you something. <laughs> because the conservatives, Pierre Polyev, deciding to not swing out of every pitch. Mm-hmm. 
really? <laughs> so, um, yeah. So right now, the conservatives are still doing deny, delay, delegitimize, destabilize. Watch the behavior. Mm -hmm. Because one of these parties is not motivated by a sense of urgency. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things. Four of these things are kind of the same, <laughs> but one of these things is not like the other. Can you guess which one before my song is done? Ba doop ba boom boom before my song is done. Boop. And of course, the next song in my head is ba na na. Do 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 do. You know, you know that song came from an Italian porn film in the 1960s. No. Yep, I did a pod. Actually, the very first music podcast I did talks about that. If you go to my Mixcloud page, you might be able to find it. I don't know if it's still there. I'd have to look, oh but yeah, God, the very first music podcast thing. I did, Songs and Stories during the quarantine, was uh, that song is featured in there. I will not be able to watch those, those things. I know. I know. Once you learn that, it's like I can't listen to that the same way again. Oh, I'm not sure I needed that piece of information. But I'm glad I have it. <laughs> Phenomena. Phenomena. Yeah, it's from an Italian porn film. Oh, my word. Jeez. Oh, my word. Now, an Italian oh. porn film in the 60s is not like stuff from today. Right? No. I mean, no. that that I bet you you could show that on late night television today. Blue Nuit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell, not even Blue Nui. I mean, I watched uh, Midnight Cowboy on, on CJOH about 20 years ago, and at the oh time my. it was released, it was X-rated. Yes. It's, it's yes. still the first and only um, motion picture movie. to be nominated and win the Best Picture category, yeah. and it's X-rated. Yeah. But by today's standards, it's, I don't even think it would be, get an R rating by today's standards. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Mystical, that's when porn was art. <laughs> we make art pictures around art. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Grizzly, do we have a show? We do indeed. We Hold do on indeed. a second, I've got to cough. Oh, don't don't cough in the mic. That, that's loud for people. I, I did put I, a I, link I in the chat button. to uh, travel, uh, travel advisories for this uh, summer. Here's what Canadians should know this summer. Uh, basically, don't go to Europe is what they're saying. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Uh, right. Popular destinations with travel warnings about terrorist threats include France, Italy, Belgium, Denmark, Germany, Spain, Sweden, UK, and the Netherlands. So don't go to Europe is basically what they're saying. Gee, and recently well, there's been like, don't go to places like Bonaire and a couple of other Caribbean islands as well. Well, and remember the Olympics start on July 26th in Paris. <gasps> oh. So, right? Yeah. And especially this year. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. What, what's going on? High in rates of crime in the Bahamas. So it's like... Mm. Yeah, it's just, uh, basically, mm -hmm. uh, we want you to travel in Canada this year, I think is mm -hmm. what they're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a, uh, an Easter egg for us after we uh, come back. Um, it's, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but I'll show it because it's kind of inflammatory. Ooh, lovely, uh, lovely, it's, lovely. It's from a, a member of parliament. Okay, excellent. And, um, yeah, uh, also, um... Just uh, because we haven't had a chance to do a little bit of Canadians who make us proud. Uh, and I know that this is important uh, to, to you, Mr. Grizzly, but uh, the CFL season started last week. Yes, it did. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Ottawa's and, home uh, opener is this Thursday. I, I'm trying to make it work. Exactly. Because I was wondering if you're going. But in our extended long preseason of two matches, um, Ottawa finished first. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's promising. It shows promise. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> two matches. Yay! <laughs> All right. And of course, uh, the Oilers are down 2-0. Uh, the first match, they did everything but score. I don't know how they did not win that match, but that goaltender stood on his head. He did. And then yesterday, they scored first, so at least they had a lead in the game for the first time in the series, but then and it just kind of went south. After well, and, and they not only did they score first, but it, they had like what five shots by the end of the first period. Their first goal was their first. The first goal was their first, first shot, shot on goal, yeah. and I think it was in the second period. Was it in the second? Yeah, you're right. I think so. No, no, right at the end. There was right less at the than end two of the minutes. First. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less than two minutes at the end of the first. First shot was in the first period. Yeah, they had five shots at the end of the second. It How do you goal. play 18 minutes and not get a shot on goal? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, after the second period, I had to go to bed. My head was pounding too hard and I just couldn't look at the television yeah. any longer. 
but anyway, uh, the series uh, moves to Edmonton, and I don't remember when the next match is off the top of well, my head. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, Thursday night. Well, I, Thursday, and there's it's Thursday and Saturday, and Saturday at the ice uh, gat, like right out in front of the rink, they have a special guest musical performance by Shania Twain. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, Shania Twain's going to be there to perform. So, yeah, Damn. if you're in Edmonton, go check that out, you know. Yeah, Jeez, big score. Derek, I wonder if I can get a plane ticket. <laughs> I love me some Shania. Who does uh, And a little, last little note very quickly, uh, not Canadians that make us proud, but uh, the Coots Alberta murder conspiracy trial does resume today in Lethbridge. The jurors okay. had been absent uh, from the courtroom since the first hearing evidence last Thursday when it started up again. Uh, lawyers have been dealing with uh, procedural issues that have been under a publication ban. Uh, just remember that uh, the accused are charged with conspiracy to commit murder at the 2022 blockade of the U.S. border. The RCMP had found a cache of guns, body armor, and ammunition. Treason. Yeah. Judging by that definition. Yeah. Do we have a show, Mr. Grizzly? We do indeed. All right, kids and cubs. That's the end of this episode of the Daily Beaver Morning Show. We hope that you love listening to us because we love making this to you. Remember our mental health walk, 5K, June 15th, this Saturday, the day before Father's Day. Please walk for the men in your life. And if you are male identifying and watching this show, please, please, please take advantage of this opportunity to check in with a friend, check in with a mate, ask him out for a walk and go for a talk. Yeah. You can do it anytime you want on the 15th. If you're in Ottawa and you want to walk with us, this meet us uh, at the East parking lot of the Canadian museum of nature, 240 McLeod street uh, at the corner of Argyle. And we will get, we will meet you there where we will have Senator Patrick Brazo with us. Uh, we will meet at 12. We'll start walking around 12.15 and uh, we'll make our way uh, to the Lieutenant's Bump uh, where at 3 o'clock we will start our live monthly podcast with our guests, uh, Senator Brazo. Uh, we hope that his lovely wife, uh, Dr. Marie-Claire Brazo, will be with us as well. Um, uh, we will have... Um, opportunities for you to uh, contribute. Uh, we've got a call from the Canadian Mental Health Association yesterday. Oh, uh, so we're going to try and arrange something, even though it's like a little bit last minute, but they might set up some type of donor page. Um, they say that they don't have a program specifically for men. Okay. However, we can, uh, they have a we peer, peer support thing. Um, but uh, that's it. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. I'm a little um, trying to decide what I want to do uh, fundraising wise in that sense, because we do have one organization that is a men's organization and we reached out to another mm -hmm. one in Newfoundland and we're waiting to hear. Um, so I don't want to spread stuff too thin, mm -hmm. but to get the, um, the reach of the Canadian mental health society association, sorry, That's uh, big. That's big. would be big. Well, so, and, um, you know, this year it's, it's very super, super grassroots this year. Yes. We, we organized this as quickly as possible, uh, came up with the, the whole thing in, in like a very short time period while we're both working full-time jobs and doing this. Yeah. <laughs> so basically for next year's walk, we'll start on the 17th of June planning, organizing, and like literally we're, we'll spend a full year getting a charitable organization together, getting it all together. And it's going to take us that long to do it. This year, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, let's raise awareness. Next year, next year, let's go out full to raise money. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. we're, we're trying to raise money this year too. Don't get me yeah. wrong, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's an but awareness. It, it's, it's, a, it's a side thing yes. this year. It's next year, thing. that will be the main focus and, and we will uh, uh, have it better organized and better put together. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but we'll, we'll try to find a way. Uh, Kit Linda M suggested, for example, us uh, signing a t-shirt and raffling it. Uh, so for example, if we do that with the Canadian Mental Health Society, we might, uh, if you're in your own area and you want to make a donation there rather than to the other organizations that we would have, uh, then, uh, you know, we would get to the receipts and then put everybody into a, mm -hmm. a draw and then, uh, maybe do something like that to try to get some people to, uh, to do that. But, um, yeah, I'm just trying to decide because I do like the organizations that we have and I sort of almost wouldn't want to divert stuff away, but it's the first year. So, I mean, we can maybe think about that later. Um, Kits and Cups. Uh, so please do uh, participate if you can. Uh, we would really appreciate that. What's that? Bruce Oak Center in Winnipeg, Recovery and Mental Health for Men. Kit Cassie. Oh, thank you. Okay. 
Uh, I'll have to, I don't have anything to write down to, to make His dad is Scott Oak from the CBC. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to write that down. Bruce Oak Center, Winnipeg. Okay, and I will reach out to them. All right, kids and cubs, that's the end of this episode of the Daily Beaver Morning Show. We hope that you love listening to us because... Um, to oh. answer your question, Tim, yes. Um, memberships are available. We just haven't set the, the tiers or any of that yet. But uh, uh, Mr. Beaver and I will be having a conversation this evening. Uh, we have a few things we have to get uh, organized on our end. We're, we'll have a recording session this evening. Tomorrow's show will be pre-recorded uh, because we have a, a special guest who's in a different time zone. So trying to do a 7 a.m. When, when, when it's 4 in the morning is kind of difficult. Yeah. And we wouldn't ask somebody to do that. So tomorrow's show will be pre-recorded. We're recording it this evening. We'll get that worked out tonight as well. Yep, absolutely. All right. Sharing is caring. Word of mouth is priceless. So please tell your peeps all about us and please tell them about the mental health walk. Please. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you would like to support us, uh, you can do that by scanning the QR code under my chin. That is sponsored by the Ray Girl. And that will allow you to go to our pod page. That's podpage.com slash the true North eager beaver, lowercase letters with a hyphen between each one of those words. And if you click subscribe there, when we have something fresh off the bandwidth, it will come directly to you. If you would like to support us in other ways, please make like Kit Elaine. Yes, please make like Kit Elaine and go to the True North Eager Beaver Media Incorporated YouTube page, which uh, is growing by leaps and bounds. It is. Um, so if you uh, click like, share, subscribe there, smash with our buttons. There you go, get in the lane. Uh, we would really appreciate that. It would make us very happy. And if you would like to support us in other ways, well, we have our coffee page where you will find the Beaver Lodge Emergency Hydration Fund, where our friends Hot Chocolate Coffee, Guinness, and Caesar are waiting for us to help us write, produce, and market this show for you. So if you scan the QR code right by Mr. Grizzly's head, that will bring you there. And, uh, you know, if you have to happen to have a, a little bit of change uh, in your pockets and you would like to encourage us to do more, uh, we really appreciate what it is that, that you can contribute. But, of course, the gift of your attention is the one that is the most important to us. So if you would like to write to us because you've got some ideas or some comments or ways that you think we can improve the show, we love to hear it. True North Eager Beaver at gmail.com. And... If that is also the address to which you would send your address and $35 and your shirt size, should you want one of these snazzy babies? Make your home a forever home for one of our t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> In the arms of the angel. Oh <laughs> <laughs> what? Just for $35, you can give a Mental Health Walk t-shirt at home. <laughs> well, it's not lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm just spinning. <laughs> uh, kids and cubs. Uh, it could be a tough world out there. Oh, because democracy is something that you do, of course buy a mental health walk t-shirt or for example uh write the minister of veterans affairs jeanette petitpa taylor to let her know that uh, you would like our federal government to have better programs and better supports for our veterans if you are in alberta get involved in the leadership race for the ndp it is getting juicy and if you happen to be in the provinces of british columbia the province of saskatchewan or new brunswick you have a provincial election coming on so uh, please look in to see what it is that you can do to get involved either supporting the electoral process or your candidate of choice from the beaver lodge this is your eager beaver saying it could be a tough world out there so please be kind to and gentle with yourself mr grizzly do you happen to have some absolutely delightful words of wisdom for us today you know, I'm drawing a complete blank this morning. I think I've had not nearly enough coffee, to be honest with you. So here's what I'm going to suggest. Stay hydrated, stay caffeinated, and smile at everybody you see. All right. Now, I see lots of questions in the, in the, in the thing with from the kids. You know, is there an elevator pitch and all that kind of stuff? Uh, we don't have a lot of that stuff. We're trying to work on some small little ads. Um, just follow our uh, Twitter feed. Uh, true eager and uh, whenever we have something or we're putting it up there we're trying to create some things uh hopefully we'll have something with uh, mr uh, with senator brazo that we can put out uh we do have a 
those little things like stories and a couple of things like that, um, and then some uh, some threads that uh, you can share and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we do clearly we don't have all the products uh, no. uh, at this stage with the short turnaround. So uh, just uh, uh, just good old fashioned word of mouth and uh, check our Twitter feeds and see if you've got anything there. There is a dedicated Facebook page, first annual True North Eager Beaver Mental Health Walk. If people want to go there. Um, but uh, th that's about all that we have for now, uh, unfortunately. We wish we had more, but I'm just one beaver. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm all just right. one grizzly. Exactly. Mr. Grizzly, would you please cue the cock? You are listening to a True North Eager Beaver Media Incorporated podcast. The True North Eager Beaver podcasts are proudly brought to you by our founding sponsors, the Misfy Mysteries from Corvid Moon Publishing, your source for science fiction, fantasy, and cozy mysteries featuring a broad diversity of characters. CanadianTarot.com, their uniquely Canadian online eclectic tarot community, and The Peppermaster. Hot pepper sauce is made from farm fresh ingredients to thrill your taste buds and expand your mind. We are grateful to the Cryer Media Network for its support, Pete Jarvis for our artwork, and Paul Joseph something for our opening and closing sequence music. All right, Mr. Grizzly, you said you had an Easter egg. Yeah, very, very brief Easter egg. It's rather inflammatory, and I'm kind of like, whoa, that's pretty serious. Uh, it's from uh, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh. He tweeted this out yesterday. I can't believe I have to say this. The government should not give billions in corporate welfare to crooked corporations under investigation for ripping you off. As Prime Minister, I'll cancel Pierre Polyev's corporate welfare system. Competition Bureau probes alleged anti-competitive conduct by Loblaws and Sobey's owners. Mm -hmm. That's really inflammatory. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. I might have chosen a different wording at this particular moment for that. Yeah, I think so. All Slightly. Right. I gotta yeah. go. I'll see you.